This morning, GMA's on the trail of a runaway millionaire, John McAfee. He says he won't turn himself in for questioning, so Good Morning America's going to look for him. This morning on ABC. You look for us and found us here online, and we thank you for finding us. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Thursday. President Obama comes here to New York City today to survey damage from Superstorm Sandy. At his first news conference in eight months yesterday, Mr. Obama sought to downplay the David Petraeus scandal, saying he doesn't have any evidence, at least at this point, that classified information was disclosed. The president also said he was given a mandate by middle-class voters to protect their interest. As for the woman in the Petraeus scandal, the FBI is investigating whether Paula Broadwell violated the law for storing military documents, including classified material, on her home computer. The Army has suspended her security clearance, and Jill Kelly, the other woman who triggered the investigation into Broadwell, has been stripped of a special access pass to MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa. Oil giant BP is expected to plead guilty today for its role in that massive 2010 oil spill off the Gulf Coast. According to terms reached with the Justice Department, BP would admit negligence and other failures leading up to the spill, and it would pay fines probably to the tune of billions of dollars. In exchange, the company would be exempt from future prosecution. And Hostess Twinkies, Cupcakes, and Ding Dongs are in danger of becoming collector's items. The snack food giant says that if striking employees don't return to work by 5 o'clock Eastern today, it will move to liquidate the entire company. And if that motion is granted, Hostess says it would begin shutting down operations and selling off assets as early as Tuesday of next week. That could mean the loss of 18,000 jobs in addition to one of our favorite snacks. What am I going to do without my ding dong? <laughs> Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Paula Ferris. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good one. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Friday, 2020 investigates the food we buy and eat from a high tech germ patrol <laughs> to some fishy business with fish. Plus, what's injected in those all natural turkeys? 2020 is the real dish, Friday at 10 on ABC.